We continue now at the top of Daf Peheim and Bezim Maseches Gitten. This is Gitten Daf 85b. On the previous summer, the Mishnah said that the main part of the get is Hareat Muteris Lechol Adam. And the Mishnah continues, Rabbi Yehuda, Omer Rabbi Yehuda says, Vidon Dahavi Lechi Minoi, Sefer Teiruchin, Vigeris Shavukin, Viget Piturin, Lamach Lehis Nasva Lechol Gavardis Yatsvan. And Rashi explains, Vidon di have a lechim inoi, Vizah sefer, Ashriyelach meiti, this, this book, this document which you have for me, Sefer Teruchin, Vigeris Shavukin, Shetzorach Lohiach Besochu. The point says Rashi is, it has to say inside of the get, Shal Yede Sefer said that it's through this Sefer who Megarsha that he's divorcing her. So it has to specify, that's the idea that it says in the get, it's a Sefer Teruchin, it's an Igeris Shavukin, it is a document that separates, that divorces, and uh, allows her to marry another man. And the Mishnah continues, Gufo shall get shich, Gufo shall get shichur, the main part of a get shichur, Hareat Baschorin, Hareat Liatzmechitz. You are free, you are to yourself. And the Gemara says, Pshita, it's obvious, Amar Lola Ishto, if he says to his wife, Hareat Baschorin, you are free, Lo Amar Veloklum, that's not saying anything. Amar Lola Shifchasu, if he says to his maidservant, Hareat Muteris Lechol Adam, you're mutter to every man, Lo Amar Veloklum, he hasn't said anything. Amar lo isha hareat la'atzmech, if he says to his wife, you are to yourself, you're on your own, mahu, what's the Allah over there? Lagamri ko amar lo, is he saying you're totally free, in other words, you're divorced? O le malacha ko lo, is he talking about work? He's talking about the fact that that which she earns belongs to her. Rashi says, Amar lo ishto lichtov begita, in other words, he says to his wife, that means to write in the get, hareat baschorin, that he wants to write, hareat baschorin. Velo kasabo, he doesn't want to write in it, hareat muteris lechol adam, that your mutter to all men. Lo amar klum, that's not you don't use a language of cheres when it comes to divorce. The baschor and he caught him lachin. She's already free beforehand. Amar leshivchaso hariyat mutaris lechol adam lo amar klum. If he says to his shivcha, you're mutter. So that's nothing. Also, the legabe melacha lo afka mine. Because in terms of the melacha, he hasn't let her go. The cave on the shivcha, and since, since she's a shivcha, the shame shivcha alo, and she's called a shivcha lo mishtar yanami le ben choren. She's also not going to be permitted to a ben choren. So that's not going to be anything. And the Gemara continues. Amar le ravina le ravina. Ravashi, Ravina said to Ravashi, Tashma, come and hear a proof from our Mishnah. The Tanan, as we learned in our Mishnah, Gufo shall get shikhar, the main part that's written in a get shikhar, Hareat Baschorin, you are free, Hareat Laatzmech, you're to yourself. And so we understand as follows. So Ma Avda, if it comes, to, if when it comes to an Evid, the Kani Le Gufe, where he owns the body of the Evid, Kiyomar Le Hareat Laatzmech, but when he says to him the phrase, you are to yourself, Kani Gufe, he acquires himself, he goes free. So Isha, so when it comes to a wife, the Lokani Gufa, where he doesn't own her body, Lokal Shekain isn't it not certainly true that the language of Hareat Le'atzmech would be effective in creating a divorce. And the Gemara continues, Amr le Ravina le Ravashi, Ravina said to Ravashi, Amr le Laavdu, if he says to his servant, Ain le Esekbach, I have no dealings with you. Mahu, what's the halach in that case? Is that considered a way of setting him free? Amr le Ravchanin le Ravashi, Ravchanin said to Ravashi, Vi Amri le Ravchanin me Chosna le Ravashi. Some say it was Ravchanin from Chosna said to Ravashi, Toshma, come in here and hear the following proof. Titania, as we learned in Abraisa, Hamoacher Avdo le Ovid Kochavim, if someone sells his evid to an idol worshiper, Yotza le Chayrus, he goes free. But Tzarech gets but he requires a document to set him free from his first master. Amr Rav Shimon ben Gamliel, Rav Shimon ben Gamliel says, "Bamed devarim amurim." When is this true? Shalok kasav olav ono. When he didn't write the document, we'll see Rashi in a moment. Avol kasav olav ono zeu shechruro. But if he writes this ono, if he writes this document, that is going to set him free. My ono. What is this document that we're referring to? Amr Rav Sheishas. Rav Sheishas says the chasav lay that he writes there when he sells the evid. He writes into the document lekeshetivrach mimenu that if you should run away from the idol worshiper from the from your non-Jewish owner, ainly asek bach. I have no dealings with you. And the point over here is it uses the same language of Ein Li Eisek Bach that we just asked, asked about. And so therefore it seems the answer to our question is that Ein Li Eisek Bach is a language that sets the Evid free. And Rashi explains, Yotzel Echeris, again, it says that he goes free, Afal Pisha Kansu Lifdosu Arasar of meaning even though when a, when a master sells his Evid to a non-Jew, there is a knas, there's a fine that he has to redeem back that Evid, he has to even pay ten times the amount of his value. Lo Yeshtabed Lo Oed, but the point of the price is, nevertheless, even though he's paying a lot of money to redeem him from the Yovet Kochavim, but Yotzel Echeris, he can't be his Evid anymore, he goes free. But Sarach Get Shichra Lahatiro Babas Yisrael, and then it said that he does need a Get Shichra from his 
his first master in order that he be mutter to marry a Basi Yisrael, to marry a Jewish girl. And then the Brisa went on to say, Rav Shem ben Gamliel went on to say, when is that true? It's when Shalok Kasav all of Ona, when he didn't write Ona, which refers to his Shtar. Shtar Kishemacharu, Lovet Kochav, when he didn't write into the Shtar, when he sold him to the non-Jew. And what is Ona? What does he write into the Shtar? Lekeshetivrach Mimenu, if he writes into the Shtar that when you run away from him, Mino Ovid Kochavim, from the non-Jew, Im Tuchal Lehimolet Mino Ovid Kochavim, if you're able to run away, to escape from the non-Jew, so then if he wrote that into the into the Shtar, that when you escape, or if you should escape from your non-Jewish owner, Ein Liesek Bach, then that automatically sets him free. Alma Ein Liesek Bach Lashen Cheresu, and the point over here is you see that the language of Ein Liesek Bach is a language of freedom. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, V'don dehavi leichi minoi sefer teiruchin v'gerish vukin. It says that according to Rabbi Yehuda, you have to write into the get that this document, it's through this document that you are being divorced. And the Gemara says, B'may komiflugi, what are they arguing about? Rabbonon savri yadayim shein mochichos havin yadayim. The Rabbonon hold that if something is ambiguous, but it's clear from the actions, then that's considered to be effective. V'yafagav de lokasav lo v'don, even though he didn't write the phrase v'don into the get, so he didn't make it clear in the document that it's the document that's creating the divorce but it's clear from his actions that he's that he's divorcing her with the document for Rabbi Yehuda suffer, but Rabbi Yehuda holds if something is ambiguous that doesn't count but time and the chas of love done it's only okay if he writes into the document because then it's clear that he's divorcing her with this get but if he doesn't write in vidon if he doesn't write that phrase into the get I'm so then people might say he's really divorcing her just with his words with his statement maybe the document is just to serve as evidence but it's not creating the divorce and that's why Rabbi Yudah says that you have to actually write the statement into the document and Rashi explains, Yadayim shein mochichos beis achiza ladavar lechos, but literally Yadayim refers to handles. You have a handle to grab something by. V'lomar hochiach al yadei sefer zeh gershon, the point over here is, is that is it clear through this sefer that the divorce is happening through the document? Afilo achi have a beis yad, so even if it's not clear, meaning even if you don't write that into the document, but it's still considered Yadayim, it's still considered to be a handle, meaning it's still considered to be clear. V'yamrinam, because we say, midakos get from the fact that he wrote a get, v'yoyev, and he gave it to her, it's clear from his actions that he's divorcing her with the document. But Rabbi Yehuda says, no, it's not clear. People will say, Bidibura, Maybe with the with the words that he says to her, the time he gives it to her. Maybe it's the phrase when he says, that's what divorces her. And maybe the shtar is Raya Bialmahu. So maybe the shtar is just evidence. It's like a testimony. She can go show it everywhere to show that she's Penuya, to show that she's an unmarried woman. And so therefore, Rabbi Yehuda says that there's a requirement to write in the get that statement of it done. And the Gemara continues, Amar Abaya, Abaya says, Haiman de Chosav Git, if somebody's writing a get, lo lichtov vidin, he shouldn't write the word as vidin, demashma vidin, that sounds like it's the law, ele vidin, rather it means in this, referring to this document, he should write it as vidin without a yud. Below lichtov igeris, he shouldn't write the word igeris with a yud, demashma igeris, because that could be mashma like a roof, ele igeris, again he should write it igeris, that refers to the letter to the document. Below lichtov limahach, and he shouldn't write limahach with a yud, Again, lemahach is supposed to mean to go, but if he writes it with a yud, demash mali mehach. That sounds like he's saying to me from this. Velo lichtov limachach. He also has to be careful to write limahach and not limachach. Demash makichocha. That sounds like it's a joke. And Abaya continues when it comes to the tofes of the get, when it says, de tahavyon and de yasiatsvon, telosa telosa yudin, you should write it with three yuds in a row. De mashma tahavyon v'sitzavyon, because otherwise, it sounds like it's going on other women, they should be. And if it has three yuds in a row, it's clear it's going on this woman. And furthermore, he says, v'lorche levav de teiruchin, he should make the vav of teiruchin long, v'levav de shivukin, and also the vav of shivukin should be made long. De mashma terichin u'shvikin, because otherwise, again, it might look like a yud, and it might seem like it's referring to other women. And Abaya continues, Velorche Lavav de Chado, he should also lengthen the Vav in the word Kado, which means now, the Mashmu Khadi, because otherwise it could sound like Kadi, which means he's letting her go with nothing.
He also shouldn't write Le'isnasva to mashma lo yisnasva because that could look like she shouldn't remarry. She shouldn't be able to marry others. Ela lehisnasva rather use a hey and write lehisnasva so there's no cause for confusion. And Rashi explains lo lichtov v'din. He shouldn't write v'din with a yud. Demashma dinu shegarshech. That sounds like it's the law that I have to divorce you. Avolemeno din alai shegarshech lo tiskarshi. Then it sounds like he's saying if that wasn't the law, I wouldn't divorce you. Velo lichtov igeris. He shouldn't write igeris shivukin biyud. Demashma igeris lashen gag. If you use a yud, it could sound like igeris like a roof. Velo lichtov limehach leis nasva lechol mandi is yatsvan. Demashma limehach. Again, if you have the yud in there, it sounds like limehach. Li tehes misefer azev elach. It means for me, this sefer should be onward. Elo limahach, rather it's limahach below yud, without a yud means to go. Velo lichdov limachach, also you shouldn't write it with a ches, limachach. Tzarech sheyavdil raglo shel hei sheyavir bein raglo legago to lo lishchazi keches. Make sure the hei doesn't look like a ches. Demashma limachach letzachek, kilomer metzachek ani boch kichocha. Because the word limachach would sound like he's making a joke out of it. This whole thing is a joke. And Rashi continues going on the tofes of the get. Zehu tofes haget. Rashi says in general, this is the language of the tofes. Patris yosef. So you who were my wife from before, now I'm letting you go, you're going to be free to marry someone else. Nobody should protest, you can marry someone else. And then the get says, This is going to be your get, that again, that affects the divorce. And so again, he said, and you should have Tahavion written with three yuds. Rasha lishte beit losa yud, and you can put in three yuds ritzufin in a row. The nikri di Tahavion di iloshad yebe, because if you don't put that in, ela train yud, and if you only had two yuds, miskri di Tahavion the shin da'alma, it could sound like it's referring to other women. Vechain di sitzavion, the same thing over there. The chikas of tlosa yud, and mashma shate rasha li nasi lechol mi shatirza. If you put in three yuds, then it's clear that she can marry whoever she wants. The lorche lavav de teiruchin, and the vav of teiruchin should be made in a clear vav, a long, make it long, yarich vav, you should make it a little longer, should be saver teiruchin, vav should be geresh, shivukin, also over there, you should make the vavs long, di lo marich le, because if you don't make the vav a clear vav, mechzi kiyod, it can look like a yod, mashma sefer terichin, grushos di alma, that can sound like sefer terichin, it refers to other divorces, ushvikin, igeris nashem azuvos di alma, again referring to other women who are left, velo shalohu, might not look like it belongs to her, velorche levav de vechado, and also the vav of kido, Patris Yasichi Vav Achrona Marich, that last Vav should be lengthened. Shalo Yirakiyod, otherwise it will look like a Yod. Di Lomarich, if you don't lengthen it, Mashmu Chedi. It sounds like Kedi, like with nothing. Kalomar Bevelo Klum, Bein Safer, means with nothing, without a Safer. Kemo Kedi Kedi Nasba, or Kemo Viarmi La Kedi, Shem Chacham. We see in the Gemara the word Kedi that refers to, again, said on his own. Velo Lichtov Isnasava, don't write Le Isnasava Ba Aleph with an Aleph. Ela Lehisnasva, write it with a Hey. Behe Shem Yarchik Lo Min Yisnasva. Because otherwise, with an aleph, you might make a separation by mistake, and it sounds like not to marry. Umashma loyis nafsa loti nasi would sound incorrect. It would sound like it's saying she cannot remarry. And the Gemara continues, who they ask the following question, Do we need to write the phrase of Vidan into the get or not? Rashi explains, Meaning the Gemara is asking, Who's the Halacha? Who does it follow? Does it follow Rabbi Yehuda? Or does it follow the Rabbonon? And the Gemara says, Tashma, come in here, the following proof, to ask in Rava Begite, because Rava instituted when it came to get, you have this whole line that Rava puts into the get, but there's no line of Vidan. But the Gemara says, well, the but according to that reasoning, if you're asking from Rava, Kulu Miko Amar, is, is the entire get written over here? Of course not. El Abinan, obviously you need other parts of the get. Hachanami Boyanan, this also, here also you need to have it done. In other words, Rava is just adding on. This phrase needs to be in there, but he's not saying it to the exclusion of other phrases. Rashi says, Kulu Miko Amar, Kol Shar Devarim HaNechtavim Beget. What about all the other things that are written in a get? Kegon Dita Havyan, Mi Hizkiram, Rava B'Takona Zu. Does Rava have to mention everything? Did he mention every phrase in this Takona? That was just a line that he added. 
And the Gemara continues, Miyoma Dinan. Again, the language of the get is from this day. That line actually excludes from Rabbi Yossi's opinion. To Amr, because Rabbi Yossi says, Zmanu shal shtar mochiach olof. It says that the date on the star that proves from when it's going to be chal. And Rashi says, Miyoma Dinan uliolam leafukim mid Rabbi Yossi. To Amr, ein sarach lichtov mehayom begets. Again, Rabbi Yossi says, you don't need to write uh, the word mehayom and a get the shchiv meiran, a get that's written by someone on his deathbed. The Zmanu shal shtar mochiach olof. Because the date that's on the star that shows that that's when it's chal, the lohavi could get lachar misa. It's not considered a get lachar misa. Lakachtikin rava bechala gitin. It was for that reason that Rava said in all gitin he instituted liyos haso from regilimbo that they should write that in there to say no, that's not the case. You have to actually write in there min yom adanan from this day. Now, even though we hold like Rabbi Yossi, so really the date on the star should be enough, we want to avoid we want to do it in a way that, so to speak, everybody agrees. And the Gemara continues, and the, the Get also says, and forever, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Pei Vav Amud Aleph.